So recently in the news, there was a story about a man who was driving along and he saw a kitten in the road. And he stopped and went and picked up the kitten and he heard a noise. So he went to investigate and he found 12 more kittens. So he gathered them all up, put them in his car, took them home, and him and his family proceeded to find good homes for them. See, he was being a good neighbor. Now, you might wonder what I'm talking about, but you think about it. Those kittens, most of them would have probably become coyote chow. And if they hadn't, if they'd grown up, then they would become feral, which is something that no neighborhood wants. So he was being a good neighbor, and kittens are people too. So why do you want to be a good neighbor? Well, good neighbors, they look out for each other. They notice when something's not right or normal, and they investigate and they make sure everything works properly. Good neighbors help when they can. Yesterday, a light plane crashed in Austin, and two, a couple of paddleboarders went out and they rescued the pilot. They were being good neighbors. Recently in New Jersey, there was an eatery, you know, place, someplace you go eat. Well, one of the uh, workers was exposed to COVID, so they were going to close the restaurant until they could um, um, get tested. But a barbershop down the street came over and said, no, you go ahead and get everybody tested and we'll take over for you while you're, you know, until everybody's tested. You know? So they were being good neighbors. In San Francisco, there was an owner of a food truck. He put up a flyer around the neighborhood that said, my wife says I'm getting weird. She says I need to make friends, so I'm making pancakes. So he proceeded on the weekend to make lots of pancakes and invited everybody over. Now it's becoming a tra tradition, and he wants to expand on it. <laughs> In Maine, there was an organic farm, and they were doing really good until COVID hit, because a lot of their restaurants in Portland, Maine, had to close. So they decided to come up with a different plan. They decided to take their vegetables and they started bagging them up and then they sent out a flyer and on their newsletter and said, come out and, and help support us. So they got lots and lots of people to come out and started buying their produce. And not only that, but the people would leave extra donations to help the farm get along. See, now that's being good neighbors. In Hawaii, there was a security guard who noticed that a woman left her wallet there when she was shopping. So after work that night, he volunteered to take the wallet to her. He pedaled his bicycle three miles uphill in the dark <laughs> to deliver the wallet. He was being a good neighbor. The husband of the woman was so impressed by this that he started a GoFundMe page. They raised $25,000 and bought the security guard a car. <laughs> yeah. So no matter what you're reading about in the news, about how bad it can be out there, there are many good stories about being a good neighbor. But being a good neighbor starts in your mind. It's about wanting to help somebody. It's wanting to help everybody. And not being afraid to speak up and investigate if something doesn't seem right. So how can you be a good neighbor? Well, around here, when you're walking outside and it's raining, keep your eyes on the ground and don't step on the worms. I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Putting up bird feeders in your yard. Noticing that if you have extra food, you take it to the food, local food bank. If you witness a car accident, then you stay with the car and the people in it until you make sure that they're safe and, they have, and help is on the way. Police officers, firefighters, healthcare workers, those are all good, good neighbors, aren't they? Um, notice when you walk into a business and the first person you, say, you meet there says hi. How can I help you? They're being good neighbors. You can pretty much say that Russia is not being a good neighbor right at the moment. Sorry. <laughs> Seeing a group of young men dressed all the same way, looking like a small army, getting in the back of a U-Haul and reporting it to the police, that's being a good neighbor. That's exactly what happened last weekend in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. 31 white men were on their way to start a riot at a Pride in the Park event in Coeur d'Alene. A good neighbor saw them loading themselves into a U-Haul, which is totally illegal, and called the police. Now, these 31 men were part of a hate group and were from all over the United States. Now, the difference between those two groups is obvious to me, anyways. 
One group of people were saying, hey, we're a little bit different. Come celebrate with us. The other group were saying, you're different than me. I don't want you to be seen, heard, or suspected, and I'm going to make my, different, my displeasure known to you. If you come near me or mine, I'm going to hurt you and possibly even kill you. The hate group is letting their own fear, anger, self-centeredness cause them to make bad choices and not harm not only themselves but others. And this is why we need to be good neighbors. Would our population continue to grow and resource becoming scarcer, the potential for conflict is only going to get worse. And this is how wars start. Unless we start treating each other kindly and look out for them, and let them look out for us, then the world we know it is going to become a very bad place to live. But you look around. Every sentient being that you see is different from you. And we need to celebrate those differences. Even the Vulcans on Star Trek knew that. They have a, they have a phrase called infinite diversity and infinite combinations. They celebrate diversity. And we need to celebrate our differences but in the end, as Buddhists, we believe that every sentient being wants the same thing, to have happiness in its causes and to be free of suffering in its causes. Letting our fear, anger, and self-centeredness rule us is not the way to make those come about, but being a good neighbor is. <laughs>